Hello and welcome to the UFramework Developers Tutorial. My name is James Wilson and I'm a member of the Iterative Reductionist team. This is part one in a series of screencasts we've put together to provide both a developer's tutorial for building ye based web applications as well as an architectural analysis of the framework itself. In part one of this tutorial, we'll introduce you to the ye framework and discuss a few key concepts that it leverages. In subsequent tutorials, we'll show you how to set up a development environment and walk you through building a few test applications. These days, developers are practically swimming in frameworks. This is not necessarily a bad thing, as they can be incredibly helpful providing out-of-the-box foundational and plumbing code. Frameworks have so cemented themselves within software development that it's usually pretty foolish to write an application without one. However, there are so many options out there that it is hard to choose just one to start with. Even when you narrow your scope to PHP web applications, as you can see here, there is still a lot to choose from. In this set of tutorials, we'll attempt to get you familiar with one web application framework in particular, YI. YI, which is an acronym for Yes It Is, is a PHP application development framework targeting high performance, large scale web applications. It was originally developed by Zhang Zhu, a developer with significant previous experience working with web application frameworks. Since its alpha in late 2008, it has consistently delivered on its promise to provide web developers with a highly performant, highly scalable framework. Now one of the primary attributes of Yi is its focus on model view controller or, or MVC architecture. Let's talk briefly about that. MVC is an architectural pattern that promotes modular development with a heavy emphasis on separation of concerns. There are three components to an MVC application, and these are not surprisingly models, views, and controllers. Now later on in the series of tutorials, we'll actually show you some examples of how to build an application using the MVC pattern. All right, let's go into a little more detail now. In the MVC world, a uh, model is a logical representation of entities in your business model. So instantiated models contain the state of some subset of your data. A model is the logical vessel by which information from your data store, be it a database or a flat file or a web service, etc., is transported among the various components of your application. Views are particular visualizations of one or more of your models. When you pass a model to a view, it goes about putting a visual face on that model for the outside world to see. Models and views do not share a one-to-one -one relationship, so you can have many different views that visualize the same model in many different ways. Now, while views understand particular models, models are always completely ignorant of views. Views typically do not provide for uh, direct manipulation of model data. In this sense, a view is like a window. You can see what's on the other side, but you can't touch it. Now we still need some way for actions on a view to propagate to the model and eventually to the data store. And also we need some means of getting a view to a model. We need a brain to control the flow of models to views and to perform the actual model manipulation based on the actions taken within the view. Now recall from the last slide that views aren't allowed to directly manipulate models. A controller is that brain, it's the last piece of this puzzle. Now within the Yi framework, views are objects that know how to render themselves. And when they do this, they basically produce a user interface that's defined in HTML that's then sent to the browser. Now while views can hold simple PHP logic, we strongly encourage you to minimize that practice. Now all models in Yi are derived from one of two base types. Form models are specifically for holding web form state and active record models are for holding business data state. Some of you may be familiar with this latter concept. It's referred to as the active record architectural pattern. In Yi, as in most other web MVC frameworks, controllers take user input or form models and direct actions to be taken against the business model based on that input. One crucial piece of the web application flow that we haven't covered so far is the routing of requests to controllers. When a request comes in, how do we determine which controller to send it to? Well, to handle this, Yi implements the front controller architectural pattern. A front controller or application in Yi words takes initial requests and routes these requests to the appropriate controller. All right, well, with that introductory material out of the way, the next couple of tutorials will walk you through the process of setting up your development environment 
and actually creating your first Yi-based applications. And then in even later tutorials, we're going to go into a much more in-depth architectural analysis of Yi. Once again, my name is James Wilson from the Iterative Reductionists, and on behalf of David Randolph and Matthew Clickgard, thank you for watching this video.